Back down to Narragansett where Fred Campania is standing by and he has a guest with him who may be able to help us spare some of our trees, the fury of Floyd. Thank you, Pam. I'm down here with uh, an arborer who knows more about trees than Matt Largess from the Rhode Island Tree Council. Matt, what can we expect uh, as far as tree damage from hurricane or tropical storm Floyd? I think it will probably be very severe. The trees are under uh, the worst drought in a century in Rhode Island, so they're all stressed. Uh, their leaf covers way down. It's going to rain, so the rain's going to soften the ground and they're going to blow over and they're going to be absolutely all over everything. I think it's going to be a major problem with the trees of Rhode Island. Okay, you mentioned uh, European beech trees in Newport. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Newport, Rhode Island has the greatest collection of European beech trees in the United States, and I'm very concerned. They're very old, 150 years and upwards, and they're having all kinds of problems already. Uh, this tree's going to come along, the storm's going to come along, and these trees are going to just absolutely fall over. Not only are they are they famous trees and rare trees, they're very heavy trees. They can weigh upwards of 50 tons per tree. So when you start to go cut a tree down that's on a structure, it is just like a time bomb. It's spring-loaded, so you make one cut and it can absolutely kill you. I think people could really be hurt. I'd recommend calling an arborist. Don't try to tackle on something that's uh, more than you can handle. All right, thanks a lot. That's uh, Matt Large, Jess Rhode Island Tree Council telling people to uh, be careful if a tree is down and he, as he said he does expect a lot of trees to go down and of course the trees hit the power lines and that's when we begin to deal with the power outages so we will have much more from down here in Narragansett. Pam? All right Fred and stay